It's fire time. Let's get a fire going. So, put a bit of rubbish in there. Put a log there. Last night as I was trying to go to sleep, I kept dreaming about, well not dreaming, but daydreaming, about how I would make a, a shoot for a, a cellar, so that coal could be sent in there. Um, I think I came up with the idea that I'd have a, a brass funnel behind a, a door, so the door would open up, and the funnel would come in like that. And the idea of this funnel is that it would raise, um, oh yeah, and I'll put some birch bark on top of that. And in fact, let's see if this birch will do it. Sparks are coming off this birch, that's brilliant. So anyway, the idea is it'd open up and it'd come like that. And um, why would you do that? Why not just have a hole in the bottom of the wall. Two reasons. One, it, it was going, is if I do it my way, you could raise the hole and therefore you're less likely to have rainwater coming into your cellar. Although there's nothing stopping you putting a, a, um, a pump into a cellar to, to mitigate that. Um, and the other reason is this funnel, which would then have a little stand so that once it's deployed, it can, it will just stay there, is it means that the, uh, uh, the, the coal man, and I do say coal man because it's a 50 kilogram bag of coal, that's the standard weight, um, maybe there's one or two women in the world that can haul that, but it's going to be a coal man. Anyway, 50 kilogram bag of coal is quite heavy. You don't really want to, say, carry it on your back, dump it on the floor, and then bend over to pick up the corners of, of the bag so that you can tip it up and, and drain it. So if you had a funnel, which was hef uh, hefty enough that could support the weight of that bag, that means you can dump the bag onto the funnel without having to bend down so you, you keep your back straight. And it's really just for ease of use for the uh, for the coal handler. There we go. There's a gender neutral term for an operative which handles a 50 kilogram bag of coal. I, I don't know why you need a gender neutral term for that because again, it's it's a 50 kilogram bag of coal. I've carried. <sighs> We get like 12 bags in, in one go, and in the space of time I can carry three of those, the coal man's carried the other nine, and he's unloaded them, and the day afterwards I have got terrible ache in my abdominal muscles, because <laughs> I'm not used to carrying such a hefty load. But anyway, I had this idea, and... Um, it's one of those things of, I thought, well, this is great, and I'll definitely draw it um, tomorrow. I'll just draw it on the back of an old, an old envelope. Uh, but also, it, it's not applicable to my situation, because I don't have a cellar. Our coal goes into a bunker. Um... But the bunker does have a raised lip, and I, I know from personal experience that the, the raised lip of the bunker, it's like, yeah, I walk to the bunker, I turn around, I squat so that the uh, the lip holds on to it. Don't have to squat too far. And then once the uh, bunker's taken the weight off of my shoulders, I can grab the corners of the bag and then I can... Um, I can uh, I can tip it over, but it's not easy. It's it's not easy. Anyway, has that bit of cardboard? I think that might be enough to get the um, enough to get the birch bark going. 
If so, I've just saved myself a fire lighter. Oh, and I've got another bit of bark here, so I'll just uh, pop that there. Oops. Yeah, that's burning. I like the idea of a coal cellar funnel which is retractable and uh, doesn't even need bearings or anything it could just the the brass funnel can just have a, a hook on either edge sort of like uh, like that and then the hook goes on onto a bit of wood and then as it moves it just pivots on that and I say brass because no, I think we will need a bit of fire lighter. Um, the reason I say brass is coal contains sulphur, and when the sulphur combines with uh, water, you get sulfuric acid. Um, I have seen coal buckets made out of steel, galvanised steel, uh, rot away from the from the acid. It even happens to our shovels. The shovels are made of steel, and uh, they eventually rot from. Well, do do they rot or do do they abrade? Either way, um, steel is uh, it's, it's not. A suitable material for uh, holding on to coal. Now, some might argue to say, oh, yeah, but when they transport in trains and lorries, uh, those containers are steel. They are, but the understanding is they eventually rust and can be replaced. My coal scuttle's made out of brass, and the one for the main boiler's made out of copper. Yep. Ugh. I do not feel it feel well. Hey ho, never mind, eh? Get a fire going, and then the uh, the infrared light from it, which isn't going to penetrate that very well, will um, the infrared light from it will be beneficial. It goes through, it penetrates skin apparently, and gets into your bones. Um, It does you good. In fact, it's is generally recognised as. Or put it this way, on the International Space Station, which uh, has been sabotaged, uh, a small hole was drilled into an airlock by a by a woman. So the International Space Station is um, is going to be uh, retired soon. Um, space and weight are at premium and they decided to install a, an infrared panel on there so if anybody was feeling unwell or injured they could go to the well it's not even a sick bed it's just the medical area uh, they could turn on the infrared panel and it would uh, assist with healing so NASA or the ESA or the JSA, whatever space agency decided, like, oh, what shall we use in our very limited payload to send up in space for the International Space Station? They said, we'll send this infrared panel up. It's important. I don't know if it's near um, infrared radiation or far infrared radiation. I don't really know the differences between it. Um... All I know is that infrared radiation, the sort that you get from sunlight and fires, um, is is beneficial. If you're feeling unwell, get the infrared light on you. So, I, I've got, I'm going to get an, a rag of some some sort and just, um, I'll, I'll give that a I'll give that a wash. It's too bad I haven't got any old. Uh, I recently got rid of my underpants, so I'll find something and I'll just um, 
give it a scrub. Yeah. Oh, actually, I've got, I've got a shirt which um, I'm not wearing anymore. I can use that as a rag. I need to get some more stove cleaner as well. I mean, just water is uh, pretty good at scrubbing away at it. Um, the other thing seems to work well is just newspaper, get it damp, dip it in some ash, and uh, that, that seems to... Uh, get rid of most of the soot deposits on the window um, but I, I think this fire it's lit well there we go hey I can see a fire through that I think we're all right toodle pip